Compared to the early days, it's much less common now to hear Bitcoin being accused of being shady internet money, perfect for money laundering and cybercrime. However, some still think Bitcoin is anonymous, which isn't true. In fact, Bitcoin is one of the most transparent payment networks in the world. So let's pull back the curtain on Bitcoin and see how much privacy it really offers. Long story short, all Bitcoin transactions are public, traceable, and permanently stored on a public ledger called a blockchain. The blockchain is maintained by a decentralized network of computers called nodes that verify and record every transaction. Blockchains are ad-only data structures where every transaction is linked to the ones before it. So if you send some Bitcoin to a friend, that transaction and its details are etched into Bitcoin's blockchain permanently. No take backsies allowed. Because all transactions are linked, anyone can trace where any Bitcoin has been or check the full transaction history of any address. But wait, you ask, I don't see names on this ledger, just random numbers. That's because on Bitcoin's ledger, your identity is represented by a long string of letters and numbers called an address. If no one knows the person behind the address, you can still maintain a decent level of privacy as a regular user. But if someone ever links that address to you in the real world, then suddenly every transaction involving it, both past and future, can be linked back to you. To put it simply, this makes Bitcoin not anonymous, but pseudonymous. That means your transactions are done under an alias, but that alias can often be traced back to your identity through some digital detective work. Let's see how. The blockchain records various data about each transaction, including sender and receiver addresses, amounts, and timestamps. These records are essentially a treasure trove of information for blockchain forensic experts and law enforcement. They use advanced analytics tools and techniques to analyze transaction patterns, then link those to real-world clues to track down targets. In fact, there are already striking examples of exactly this happening. Take the infamous 2016 hack of a cryptocurrency exchange, Bitfinex, where nearly 120,000 Bitcoin were stolen. A joint investigation team from the FBI, IRS, and Homeland Security tracked the movement of stolen funds through blockchain analysis and eventually linked the hack to Ilya Liechtenstein. The investigation revealed a complex money laundering operation involving darknet marketplaces, chain hopping, and coin joins, which are techniques to obfuscate transaction history. Despite this, investigators recovered approximately 94,000 Bitcoin in 2022 valued around $3.6 billion at the time, making it the largest single cryptocurrency seizure in US history. With additional assets seized and increased Bitcoin price, the total recovered value eventually reached approximately 10 billion USD. But for the average user, the most common way identities get linked to Bitcoin addresses isn't through FBI-level forensics. It's something simple, like using a KYC verified crypto exchange that ties your identity to your wallets. Beyond that, privacy breaks down through everyday habits. For instance, posting your wallet address on social media or sharing NFTs connected to it can create a breadcrumb trail that's surprisingly easy to follow. So if you're cautious about what you reveal and where, you can still maintain a decent level of privacy as a regular user. Though the early perception of Bitcoin as a haven for untraceable transactions might linger, the reality is more nuanced. Bitcoin is still sometimes used in criminal activity. Ransomware groups, for example, often demand payment in BTC, but law enforcement has often caught up. So while Bitcoin may be more private than a bank transfer, it's far less private than cash, and how traceable you are depends a lot on how you use it. Learn about one way to increase your on-chain privacy as a regular user by checking out our video on burner wallets right here.